A cigarette holder and case are two of the remaining possessions this wife has of her husband. He was killed in the 1995 massacre of Srebrenica. I parted ways with my husband in Potichari, and I have not seen him alive again. I found him in a mass grave. Along with her husband, more than 8,000 Bosnian Muslim men and boys were murdered when Bosnian Serb forces overran the UN-protected area of Srebrenica. This month marks the 20th anniversary of the massacre. It's the only atrocity in Europe since World War II that UN courts have labeled a genocide. On Thursday, thousands of mourners lined the streets of Sarajevo to pay their respects to 136 newly identified victims of the massacre. Their coffins carried inside a truck heading toward a funeral in Srebrenica. When will all of the victims be found? Probably never. All we can do is to think about them, to remember them, and to hope that one day this country will find a way to move on. Serbian soldiers initially buried the victims in mass graves, but then later dug them up and scattered the remains over smaller graves to try and cover up their slaughter. So far, the remains of about 7,000 people have been identified. Forensic teams continue searching for the remaining victims. As a mother myself, when I think about the, Srebren the Srebrenica genocide, I can't even imagine what the mothers and families of the victims must have felt, and my heart and all my sympathy goes out to them. Organizers expect about 50,000 people to attend the funeral. The U.S. delegation attending will be led by former President Bill Clinton. Padmanandarama, The Associated Press.